Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it's the 24th day of September, and the time as I make this, 3.48 a.m., this is the day I really do think there will be showers on the radar. There will be a frontal system that goes as far south as I-85 with showers along and ahead of the front. However, however, your chances of seeing a shower at your house and my chances of seeing a shower at my house are very, very small. Okay, but I want you to know there will be some showers out there and maybe some towns will get lucky. After today, all bets are off on rainfall for the next few days. Uh, looks like the chances are not zero, but dismal. And also we'll talk about some record heat. I think for about five or six days, we could set record highs around here. We'll update those numbers for you. We'll also look ahead. Will the tropics be able to help us out with rainfall at some point? I'll show you some mischief in the Gulf a few days down the line. I'm glad you're here. Here we go. Okay, so here's the setup this morning. The front uh, just north of the Alabama border is sinking southward. And by mid-afternoon, it'll be into central Alabama, probably close to the I-85 corridor with maybe a few breakout showers uh, along and ahead of the front, especially in central and south Alabama. And there's future radar this afternoon showing, again, some widely scattered storms. Good luck. There's not going to be many. I'll say a 20% chance of storms with a high temperature in the middle 90s. We had 95 yesterday. Same thing today. Tonight slowed down to about 67. The winds will be light. Tomorrow, the front fizzles out. So, uh, you know, I've got the rain chances under 20% tomorrow. A hot day. I think we are easily up to about 96. Maybe teasing a record? I don't know. The record's 98. But certainly record territory Thursday. I see the uh, GFS tries to print out a shower or two. I have the rain chances at 10%. Meanwhile, in the upper levels of the hat atmosphere that upper high becomes even stronger friday saturday sunday and i think we're going to see some of our hottest days as we get towards the end of the week uh, i'm talking about upper 90s i think on friday saturday sunday easily breaking many records uh, not only here but across the southeastern u.s uh, this is a look at saturday with record highs perhaps from uh, mobile alabama all the way up to new york city on saturday and then more record heat on sunday across the area and still dry that's the second to the last day of september so we're looking at uh, 96 Wednesday, 98 perhaps Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and close to the upper 90s on Sunday as well. With rain chances, I'll keep them at 10%, lows at night right around 70. So it looks like we'll be rewriting the record books. That Wednesday record might be safe, that's uh, 98. And then, but Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, I think those records are going to either be tied or broken. So we're going to be rewriting the record books here in the desert southeast. And uh, the rainfall, uh, it's been 23 days at the Montgomery Airport since we've had any measurable rainfall, 0.05. And so it looks like we're going to have a record dry month. There's an area to watch in the western Gulf of Mexico, the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, 20% chance of development. Otherwise, three named systems, Jerry, Karen, and Lorenzo. Lorenzo probably turning out to sea. Jerry certainly turning out to sea. Uh, but the, the future of Karen is, um, is up for debate. Uh, what's going to happen to that system, we don't know. Right now, if you look at the National Hurricane Center cone, and by the way, it just became a tropical storm again. It was briefly a depression. Uh, it shows it uh, around Saturday kind of milling around and then maybe eventually turning to the west. Some of the models on the European take this system out to the west, eventually towards the Bahamas or Florida. Some of them turn it out to sea. So the, uh, the, the future on Karen is very uh, difficult to say. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, GFS on October the 6th, just looking out there, shows a major tropical system somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico. Who knows if that'll happen, but uh, there could be some mischief down the line, uh, and we'll have to be watching the Gulf. If uh, I did my math correctly, I counted up 75 record highs around the southeastern U.S. that will be in jeopardy from Wednesday through Monday. That's pretty incredible. I'm going to start calling this region of the country the Desert Southeast. It's... <laughs> I'm trying to be humorous, but it's not funny. Uh, live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg J. and Emily and Bailey, the Wonder Dog, who's wandering around right back, back behind me here. Uh, ben Lang and I will talk uh, weather on TV on CBS 8 and ABC 32 at 5.50 a.m. There'll be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations always twice an hour. Have a great day today. 
Good luck on your rain chances. Let's hope we get some. I'll see you. Rich Thomas Weather.